Arthur Miller calls his introduction to the crucible an overture, which usually refers to the orchestral introduction of a musical work, but the term also means a proposal. He states that he has presented the essential nature of one of the strangest and most awful chapters in human history. Miller describes Reverend Paris and his town, Salem, Massachusetts, in 1692. Salem consists of a meeting house, a tavern, and a few houses. Though the Puritan villagers are religious to the point of fanaticism, they are neighborly. They have a predilection for minding other people's business, which probably created many of the suspicions which were to feed the coming madness. Miller points out a paradox. The Salem Puritans created a theocracy to preserve unity, but people seeking greater individual freedoms found the rule oppressive. The witch hunt gave these people an opportunity to express their guilty feelings and sins publicly under the cover of accusations against the victims. It was an open invitation to express long-held hatreds of neighbors, to grab disputed land, and to take vengeance for reasons as simple as the envy of someone's happiness. The overture provides a framework for the Salem witch hunts. In calling the Salem witch hunts one of the strangest and most awful chapters in human history, Miller leaves open the possibility that other such chapters have occurred. Miller proposes that the characters were not simply gripped with mob hysteria, but found a vent for emotions long repressed by the very social order that allowed them to succeed in a harsh and threatening environment. Miller suggests that the witch hunts expose the failure of the Puritan theocracy. While the theocracy attempted to create unity, what it did was encourage simmering emotions of greed and envy that had no sanctioned outlet. The witch hunts provided this outlet. The reader is left to draw his or her own conclusions regarding repressive governments that attempt to control the beliefs and behaviors of their citizens and in so doing, destroy lives.